Hello and welcome to part two of my winter series, uh, Lake Erie Ice for 2022, where we're going to be monitoring the ice buildup here on Lake Erie, specifically around the uh, Crystal Beach area. And uh, we started this series last week, so if you want, you can go back and check the very first video. They're all going to be short videos between five to ten minutes long uh, to give you an idea of the uh, ice situation here in Lake Erie, the northeast shoreline of Lake Erie to be precise. As you can see from behind me, there isn't much ice right here, but don't let that fool you because just on the other side of me, there's a lot more ice, which I'll show you very, very shortly. But as of right now, it is the 22nd of January, so it's six days since we last came down here and had a look. Uh, the temperature is about minus six, but we've got a very good, strong southwesterly wind, I should say, southwesterly. Uh, we've got some nice waves. Uh, there was ice here, but with the wind, it's kind of all blown away now. And uh, so there you have it. The, the wind is really pushing most of the ice away. So what I'm going to do is just take the camera to the other side and show you what's over there. Just loving listening to the ice just breaking up as the waves come in here. All right, here's a fact for you regarding uh, Lake Erie ice coverage. Uh, since 1998, there's been four occasions where the ice levels on the lake as a surface for the whole of Lake Erie actually accumulated to less than 25%. Um, in 2002 and 2012, uh, the whole ice coverage for Lake Erie only maxed out at 14%. And the worst being, in 1998, there's only an ice coverage of 5% for the whole of Lake Erie, which is really, really low. It must have been a balmy, balmy, warmer winter that year. Woo, it's cold down here. All right, down here at Crystal Beach right now. This is the main beach at Crystal Beach and no sand visible. Uh, for those of you who watched the last episode, uh, you would have seen there's hardly any snow around. Well, since the past six days are gone, uh, we had a major snowstorm here in uh, this part of Ontario and we got about an average between 35 and 45 centimeters of snow that fell. Hence, that's why there's a lot of snow on the ground here. Um, ice in the bay is now starting to stretch out quite far. Uh, over the past six days, we've had a lot of cold air, especially last three or four days where the nighttime temperatures have been dropping down to like minus 17, minus 18 at night. And we had a couple of days where the temperatures didn't go above minus 12 in the day. Seasonally, this time of year, the daytime highs usually around about minus two. 
Right, I think that'll do for today because it is rather cold, very windy. You've got a really cold wind chill factor down here right now at Crystal Beach. So I'm going to try and get warmed up. So uh, we'll call it a day for now. I'm going to put my hand over the lens and we'll be right back tomorrow. Maybe it might be sunny, it might be snowing. We don't know. And we'll see how much ice has accumulated or which way the winds have pushed the ice uh, tomorrow. Back out once again. It is now the next day, Sunday, uh, 23rd of January. Uh, a little breezy, still a little cold. It is uh, it's about minus four. Uh, the, the waves on the lake are a lot calmer today than what they were yesterday. Uh, before I came out, I was doing some uh, research on Google and some of the weather places around here. And uh, there's, a, there's a map I'm going to show you right somewhere around here, which is of the currents of uh, Lake Erie and which way they're all pushing. And they're actually pushing quite uh, hard to the south shoreline of Lake Erie, uh, specifically in the area of uh, between... Erie, Pennsylvania and Dunkirk in New York, which is just over there. And online, I found a great video, uh, some drone footage from a guy called Erie Weather Now. And uh, you, I'm going to put a link in the description and I'm going to put a video up very, very shortly of some of the shots he's shown. It's at a place called uh, Elk Creek, which is just west of Erie itself. And it'll show you the ice dunes that are building up in that area. And they're getting a lot of that right now due to the currents and the winds that are being pushed into that side of Lake Erie. So it's a very impressive video and really, really cool. Oh, it's bloody cold out here, I can tell you that right now. The wind's really getting to me, really, really good. All right, uh, NOAA, the National uh, Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, uh, they have a, an organization called GLERL, which is the Great Lakes Environment Research Laboratory. They're predicting that the uh, Lake Erie will actually freeze to about 70% of uh, surface. So uh, it's below average. The average is usually about 81.9 is what I read. Uh, this year, they're predicting 70%. All right, just down here at Point Avino, uh, Crystal Beach is just over there, and uh, found all these uh, geese, ducks, and swans seem to all be taking shelter here. Still a lot of open water in this area, but behind me you can see a lot of these little circles appearing. It's a little sheltered here, so I think now that the winds are dying down a little bit, we might start to see this freeze. Uh, the long-term forecast for the next 7 to 14 days is showing a lot of cold weather. I think I saw one day, which was February the 3rd, is the only day above freezing, and that was only at one degree Celsius. The rest of the days are looking around about, around about minus three to minus six most days, and nighttime temperatures is about six or seven days in the next two weeks, where the nighttime temperature is gonna be around about minus 12, minus 15. So uh, I think in the coming days, we will see a lot more ice forming on the lake. That is it for this particular video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back next week with another video, but I think I'll try and head down to Port Coburn and do a little shoot down there and see what we can find is, uh, of ice buildup in that area. It's not too far. It's just a bit further to the west of where I am right now. So uh, make sure you check back next week. Make sure you hit that like button if you like the video. And also make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. It does help the algorithms with YouTube to make sure more and more people come to my YouTube channel and support me the best they can. Thank you very much for your support and I'll be back next week. Take care.